So I'm back in the States. Back in the rock. Woo woo. What up? So I got a couple more posts. This one's the Oxford post. So what happened in Oxford is we got there pretty late at night. After that horrible, horrible bus ride from what was Manchester. It was just too much going on. It was bumpy. It was whatever. I was snoring like pretty sure you know I was that annoying guy. Um, we decided just to take a cab to go back to um, Mark's dorm. And um, we stayed there that night. I stayed up. I um, went over to the computer lab and caught up. You know, I didn't have very much access to regular internet. So <laughs> I did that, put a post up, um, set up my fantasy football team for the week. And um, went to bed about 3. We woke up about 8, 8.30 made our plans for today which we're going to be just to go downtown center of Oxford and check things out come back and just chill um so <clears throat> once we got down to um, Oxford we took the bus down there uh it just had this real old feel to it uh, yeah <laughs> the city's <coughs> excuse me as you can see I'm still I still have my cold um the city had just a really old feel to it and then uh, the first thing we did was this place called Carfax Tower. It's like the highest viewpoint of the city. We ended up spending like 10, 15 minutes there. It was just so beautiful. The architecture of Oxford, just the feel of Oxford. Just you just feel the history just there walking through the city. And, and the view from up on top of the tower is really touching, really nice. Um, after that, we got down. We were a little hungry. I hadn't eaten anything yet. So I got uh, my first baguette, which is pretty much just a sub. Um, which is popular over there, and we just, we got a couple, and tried a bunch of them, and, um, walked around. We ended up going to this place called St., uh, I believe St. Mary's Cathedral. Uh, again, this was a, another, another nice cathedral similar to the one in Manchester. We ended up walking around, taking some pictures. I lighted a candle in, um, memory of my brother or whatever, and, uh, that was pretty neat. And... We also, there was just a lot of singing and different things going on. We had, we seen a guitar player, a uh, boy a cappella group singing, uh, and, and, and uh, another lady singing, and another person playing um, a guitar around town. The other place we went to was the um, old, uh, the, as I think, uh, the Oxford's, library had like a little museum attached to it it's like the bowl bowling i believe it is and it just had like old books of uh like shakespeare and and mathematics books and stuff it was pretty cool just showing like some of the stuff that came out of that library that we even still use today and um i did that while mark uh ran into a classmate and he just chatted with her and while I um, wandered around. So that was pretty cool. And then after that, we headed to the Museum of History of Science, which is really neat because um, Oxford has a strong history of mathematics and old history of science and stuff. So we saw that part of the museum, which is pretty cool. I saw like a huge turtle head, huge elephant head, and a lot of like old like measuring utensils and um, stuff like that for math first calculator electrical calculator electrical calculator then we head headed over to the Ashmolean Museum um, this is pretty cool they had an, uh, an Egypt exhibit which I enjoyed they also had a um, exhibit on currency which is pretty neat so I spent a good time there but we we were starting to run out of time as things were getting to close, so I only hit up those two dis um, t those two floors out of like the four or five, and then we headed out and we went to this shopping center in the town center. Just looked at it, checked it out. They love shopping over there, in in the UK, it's crazy. And then after we there, we head over to um, Mark's school and checked out the campus, which is beautiful. Same feel as Oxford, just old buildings, a lot of like history, and we actually ended up catching 
part of a basketball game and part of a field hockey game from uh, his school, his college playing. And after the game, we had it back to his place and decided we were going to go to a pub and watch, catch the end of the game and catch something to eat. We ended up going, grabbing some Chinese food, which I almost died because I was reading the menu. Thank gosh Mark caught it because it was like, huh, what? Shellfish? What? Uh-huh. What? Nah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it does. Oops. Almost died. Then went to the Nelson Bar to watch the end of the Man U game, which they lost in overtime, which was crazy. People were going nuts. Um, but it, it was just funny because, like, Oxford, as rich it is in history and knowledge, we ended up going to a pub, and it was, like, the ghettoest one. It was crazy. This guy had, like, pulled his pants down. He got kicked out, like, twice. Then the guy ended up having to, like, punch him in the face and drag him out the bar. It was ridiculous. Like, <coughs> This one lady had like groceries her at on the on the table, having a drink. I don't know what was going on there. <coughs> and then when we left, the guy who punched the other guy in the face, they were sitting there talking. So it's just one of those pubs that like you can tell everybody there is like regulars. They know each other, kind of kind of cool atmosphere like that. It's just kind of ironic that that ended up being like the place that was like kind of ghetto. After that, we ended up going back to uh, Mark's dorm, and I just crashed. Finally, that was, like, the first night I got, like, more than four hours sleep. I think I slept, like, six hours. <clears throat> then we got up in the morning, and we head to London. That'll be the next post. All right, guys. Later.